Friday, April 24th. Huffle Poetry Trips and Vocabulary. What is figurative language? Figurative language uses figures of speech to be more effective, persuasive, and impactful. Figures of speech, such as metaphors, similes, and allusions, go beyond the literal meaning of the words to give readers new insights. On the other hand, alliterations, imageries, or onomatopoeias are figurative devices that appeal to the senses of the reader. Examples of figurative language. This coffee shop is an icebox. Metaphor. She's drowning in a sea of grief. Metaphor. She's happy as a clam. Simile. I move fast like a cheetah on the Serengeti. Simile. The sea lashed out in anger at the ships unwilling to tolerate another battle. Personification. The sky misses the sun at night. Personification. I've told you a million times to clean your room. Hyperbole. Her head was spinning from all the new information. Hyperbole. She was living her life in change. Symbolism. Change are a symbol of oppression or entrapment. When she saw the dove soar high above her home, she knew the worst was over. Symbolism. Doves are a symbol of peace and hope. Some of the earliest love poems ever written were translated from ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Ancient Romans found them and translated them into their language then they were translated again into English by archaeologists. Home below and respond to the question. Fourth stanza from the Chester Beatty the First Papyrus. My heart races when I think of you, love. It grows normal out the window, keeps out of its place. Won't let me get dressed or put on a scarf. And do my eyeshadow or even rub on my oils. Go there now, it insists, whenever he comes to mind. Don't be an idiot, heart. Are you out of your mind? Be patient, be still, he will come. There are eyes everywhere, you know. I don't want people saying, love did this woman in. Keep calm when thinking of him. Heart, stop racing. This love poem was written at least a thousand years ago in Egypt, but there are connections that can be made to contemporary love poetry or love songs. Think about a popular love song that you know and like, or a love poem you have read before. How was the one you chose similar or different to this poem? What themes, ideas, lessons, or morals are the same? What imagery is familiar? Write your answer in a paragraph. The, par the paragraph should be at least five to seven sentences, have a clear topic sentence, include at least two pieces of evidence, have a clear conclusion. Remember to use TOSIC.